Ukraine war, Russian tank stakeout, dozens of Russian tanks destroyed in Donetsk region. The video first surfaced on Friday but was verified early this morning by the Ukrainian land forces, which posted a clip of the explosion on social media along with images of the aftermath showing the charred remains of the Russian armor strewn across a field. A large plume of smoke was seen rising from the damaged Russian tank, which suddenly exploded in a huge ball of flame. Analysts suggested the explosion was likely caused by ammunition in the tank which ignited after the initial attack. A separate mechanized brigade named after Prince Vladimir Monomak continues to warmly welcome the armed forces of the Russian Federation. The 53th Prince Volodymyr Monomak separate mechanized brigade was named as the unit responsible for the attack, though Ukraine's armed forces did not reveal where the explosion took place. Meanwhile, new satellite imagery revealed a huge convoy of Russian armor and artillery heading towards the under siege areas of eastern Ukraine as both sides gear up for a brutal new phase of the war. The images, taken by Maxar Technologies late Friday and released early this morning, showed the eight-mile-long convoy of weaponry snaking through the town of Veliki Berlik. The convoy was heading south through an arc of Russian-controlled territory in eastern Ukraine according to analysts, and is believed to be destined for the front lines in the regions of Luhansk and Donetsk. Russian forces withdrew from key positions around Kyiv last week in the face of bitter resistance from Ukraine's armed forces, and are thought to be regrouping for a major new offensive in the Donbass. But the losses inflicted by Ukraine on Russia's army are so great that the Kremlin has resorted to recruiting retired military personnel to make up the numbers, according to the UK's Ministry of Defense, MOD. The Kremlin's attempts to replenish its strained fighting force come as a top Ukrainian official declared Ukraine is ready to beat back Russia in the eastern Donbass region before sitting down to negotiate a peace deal with Putin. Mikhailo Podolyak, one of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's closest advisors, told reporters late last night, Ukraine is ready for big battles. Ukraine must win them, including in the Donbass, once that happens, Ukraine will have a more powerful negotiating position. After that, the presidents will meet. Podolyak's statements came as Zelensky hosted British Prime Minister Boris Johnson in Kyiv, after defense officials said Russia's withdrawal of forces from around the capital made it safe for the visit to go ahead. The PM's presence was intended to be kept secret until he had left the war zone, but was mistakenly announced in a mid-afternoon tweet by Ukraine's embassy to the UK. At a joint appearance with Zelensky, Johnson said, the Ukrainian people are a lion, and you are its roar, as he vowed to send Ukraine 120 armored vehicles and new anti-ship missile systems to help beat back the oncoming Russian offensive in the east. In his daily presidential address released late last night, Zelensky thanked the Prime Minister on behalf of all Ukrainians, and said, the leadership of the United Kingdom, in providing our country with all the necessary assistance in terms of defense, as well as leadership in sanctions policy, will go down in history forever. Meanwhile, Tens of thousands of people were told to flee for their lives in eastern Ukraine last night as Russian forces rained down artillery fire ahead of the expected new offensive. Air raid sirens rang out in the embattled city of Luhansk as the governor, Serhii Gede, gave desperate families the order to abandon their homes. Mr. Gayday said about 30% of the area's 400,000 residents had stayed in the area's cities and villages despite being asked to leave. In a telegram message posted early this morning, 
The governor told residents of Luhansk that nine trains would be available today for those wanting to flee before fighting in the region intensifies. They, Russia, are amassing forces for an offensive and we see the number of shellings has increased, he warned.